Uh, this is Pastor David Turnipsey from PDT Ministries, from SBN TV News. I'm here today with one of my good friends in Inglewood, Pastor Chisholm. He's here to share with us what's some very positive things that's going on in Inglewood. We know that in Inglewood, Chicago, there's a, there's a bad rap about all the murders and gang violence and, and all the destruction that's going on in the community. But there's some good things going on here as well. And here's one of the pioneers that makes it happen. So today, without any, I just want to, uh, Pastor Tim, just come on in and just share with us today what you're doing and how you're being a blessing in the Inglewood community. Again, first and foremost, uh, Pastor Dave, want to thank you for the opportunity. Uh, we appreciate the work that you're doing also. Uh, I am Pastor St. John Chisholm, uh, Church's Gifts of God Ministry, located 1818 West 74th Street here in Inglewood. I'm also the chairman of the Pastors of Inglewood, which is the clergy group. As, and it, we really do what we say. We're pastors. We look at the concerns in the community, do all we can to improve the quality of life. And to that avail, our church is what we call an urban community church, uh, based on uh, res responding to a concern of a hope and help center where people recognize, of course, the church represents the hope, and with hope there needs to be help. And so as an example, uh, on Thursdays we here, we have our Thursday church service from 9.30 to 10.30, then we have a food pantry uh, from 11.30 to 1.30 where each uh, Thursday we pass out food uh, sponsored by uh, the Derrick Rose family, and we're blessed to have that partnership. Uh, we also have a community... Pastor, let me ask you a question. Yes, sir. Cause I, th that's important to know that uh, Derrick Rose and his family are working directly with you to uh, for the concern of the community, and the reason I want to put emphasis on it, Derrick Rose is a product of Inglewood, saying again that there are some good things that come out of Inglewood, and for Derrick, I, 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 I give him complete adoration because he hasn't forgotten where he come from, and he and, and, and he networks this with, through you so that you can continue to you know, carry on what he feels is a blessing for how he came up. Well, I would like to share that, uh, if you notice Derek, uh, he's a very humble young man. His entire family believes in giving back. His mother, uh, she she loves to come in and serve. She mentions that there was one time when their family needed food pantry. Sure. And she's blessed to be able to share the blessing that they've received. So we have a wonderful relationship, and we thank God for that. Again, uh, Derek does care about the community. He played basketball at Murray Park, which is one block east of here, uh, right in this community. Yeah. That's why he wanted to really come directly, almost come back home and be a blessing to the people that he grew up with. That is truly, truly a blessing. And I, I, I'm, every time I come over here and uh, and work with you, I'm amazed at how the people, they walk out of here with big, fat bags of food. And they all, they and, and what I like about when I come over here, everything is always in order, Pastor. There's nobody in just no. There's no disarray here. Uh, the spirit of love is all through this place, and the people that come here see the love and they feel the love, and I believe that's why they're so respectful of you and your ministry here. Well, you know, our pro our approach is that uh, we don't like for people standing outside in lines. So we bring them into the church. That's beautiful. We invite them in, so they're part of the family. And uh, we have a church service. You don't have to stay if you don't want to. But we really believe that, you know, our community residents should be feel like, you know, there's somebody there. There's somebody special. And this is just a blessing God's provided for them. On Thursdays, even, uh, we have community services coming in. We also have our clothes giveaway. Sure. Uh, we have opportunities for people to come in through Life uh, Wireless to come in and get free cell phones. Uh, we have help screenings. Uh, Thursday is our service day here in the church, and uh, you know it's really one of the best days for me in the week when, when we can serve God's people. Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm I'm here with you, so I know that what you're saying is true, and and it's, it's it's always a blessing to give back to those who are in need, and to feel appreciated is even a better is, is, is even a better thing. So that's what I like about that. Now I want to switch switch gears a little bit because there's something else that you're doing in the community uh, that I want you to just share with me today and share with the world that uh, you know, yeah, there, there are situations where there's, there's things going on in the community that actually need spiritual attention and I want I want you to share what the pastors of Inglewood is doing with a situation about a, a family that had a, uh, indicate, uh, 
a situation or circumstance with some community gang activity? Well, again, as I mentioned, as Pastor of Inglewood, uh, we are challenged to respond to uh, certain circumstances. And it was brought to our attention that a family moved in uh, on the block 2041 West 69th Place, which is in the heart of West Inglewood. Uh, they moved in one week and had some difficulties with some of the brothers in the, in the community. Uh, it, pretty serious difficulties. They had some altercations. Uh, mother and, and husband had to go to the hospital. And so it was a pretty bad situation. Wow. And so uh, they contacted one of our pastors, Bishop James Dukes, and he immediately, you know, let this family know that we we're going to stand with them. The family could not stay in the home because of the problem, so they had to leave the home. And as they left, we moved in. We wanted to move in and let the Now, when you say we, Pastor, who, who, who are you talking about? Well, the pastors. The uh, pastors of Inglewood. Absolutely. This Monday, we had moving day. We moved in, <laughs> uh, beds and couches and chairs. Hey, and, man. And, and moved in on Monday. Uh, ever since then, we've been there on a 24-hour watch. Uh, we have uh, prayer visuals on, on at 6 o'clock each evening. Uh, yesterday, even in the rain, uh, Pastor Dave, we went out. We had prayer. We served communion door to door. And it's nothing like opening, you know, knocking on the door and someone letting you into their home and receiving Jesus Christ in relation to having enough desire to know that there's nothing too hard for God. So, fantastic. So, in other words, what you're telling me then, that the community is not responding neg negatively to, to you, but positively. They're opening their doors. They're allowing you to come in. They're allowing you to minister. Uh, they're actually feeling the love of God as you come through. So this, what the enemy meant for evil, God is turning this thing around for his good. It's exactly. As a matter of fact, I do need to know that uh, we've been involved with city services, and uh, we're getting ready to turn this community into a model community. With, with bringing in, uh, one of the problems in the community is there's about 12 uh, boiled up homes. So it's an On city. that block? Yes, sir. And okay. so we're coming, we have the, the uh, city come in, evaluate that property, determine whether it can be rehabbed or not, whether it should be torn down. Uh, those that can be rehabbed, they're going to give them to us, and we're going to bring brothers in to do rehab work. Okay, you're saying that the city is going to allow you to modify the homes that can be rehabbed. The ones that the city owns, because they also got to check to see about private ownership. Okay. And, but the ones that the city owns, that they can turn over to us, and also they deem them uh, in a state where they can be refurbished, because some of them wow. are not. Wow. And then, so we're going to be bringing youth in. And here's the thing I want to say. The young brothers uh, that are having these problems, our goal is to bring them into our circle. We're not on this block, you know, trying to have any adversarial relationships. We're, we're inviting them in also because our real success will be because, you know, when we leave, we want that community to be transformed. So it's not just our presence, but once we leave, the spirit is taking over where the, the peace and love and harmony will continue. So, Pastor, what you're actually telling me then, this, is, this, this, this transition is going to actually allow those who were the adversaries to come in and actually be a part of the positive transition and transformation of their own community. That is our number one goal. And we believe with the power of God that we can, you know, turn, turn these brothers. Because right now, uh, they, they don't have much to do. We want to give them some, some, some real work to do that can bless them. And so we really, we're looking forward to some wonderful success stories of conversion. Of, as you mentioned, the ones who were perpetrating, they would become peacemakers. Wow, that is a powerful, powerful testimony, man. This is some great t content for for this, for this program, and I'm, I'm happy to say that uh, Pastor Chisholm has just signed up as a member of SBNTV1.com, so we can we can provide him with his own channel, so you'll be able to see more and more of these type of stories coming from him and his ministry. So be on the lookout for Pastor Chisholm's channel yes. on www.sbntv1.com. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you so much, uh, Pastor Dave. We're looking forward to this wonderful relationship. Hey, man. Have a great day, sir. Thank you.